Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I'm going to show you how to determine the mass defect and also the binding energy per nucleon for the alpha particle or the helium nucleus. And in essence, what that means is, is that if I get a helium atom and know its mass and then work out the mass of its constituent parts, that is the two protons and the two neutrons, then those parts are greater than this total sum. That is putting those two protons and two neutrons together is I'm gonna lose some energy energy equals mc squared, and that contributes to the binding energy. It's referred to as the mass defect as well. So what we need to do is work out what our masses of both our alpha particle is and also what our protons and our neutrons. Now, I'm going to be using atomic mass units because that makes life a little bit easier. So the first thing is, remember, is the conversion. 1.661 by 10 to the power of negative 27 kilogram is equivalent to one unit u. So just that's as an aside. If you were to look up the values, you can get your alpha particle has a mass of 4.0026 u. Our proton is equal to 1.0072 u and our neutron is equal to 1.0084 u. Now we're in the position to work out the mass defect. So we know our two protons and two neutrons make up our alpha particle. So if I simply go two times 1.0072 plus 1.0084, that's gonna give me a value of 4.0312 u. So therefore our mass defect is simply the difference between those two values and you're going to get a value of you're going to get a value of 0.0286 u. So that's the mass that is lost in converting it into the binding energy. But we can now also change this unit to mega electron volts per c squared. And since 1 u is equivalent to 931.5 mega electron volts per c squared. So when I multiply that out, this value here by this value here, I'm going to get a value for the mass defect of 26.641 mega electron volts per c squared. Now, how do I convert that to energy? Well, it's very easy. You just drop off the C squared because of this is in the terms of mass. If I want just the energy that that converts to is I multiplied by C squared, which is getting rid of that value of C squared. So I'm gonna get a binding energy value of 26.64 mega electron volts. But that's the binding energy complete. We need the binding energy per nucleon. Well, there are four nucleons. So therefore the binding energy per nucleon is simply that divided by four. You're gonna get 6.65 mega electron volts. So there's the binding energy per nucleon for the alpha particle. My name's Paul from Physics High. Take care, bye for now.